In this video, we will be discussing user account settings and passwords. Let's go to the file menu and select user account settings, passwords. On this screen, you have access to each one of the users in your database. You can see if they're an active user or not active, meaning they haven't been assigned a password yet, or they don't have a user ID, or the user active checkbox is disabled for that person. So if we wanted it to make a user active, you can simply select the user we can see if their user ID is acceptable. Uh, by default, it's going to be their first dot last name. You can verify that they're in the correct group. If not, we can move them to a different group. And we can set a password for this user. If you don't want to type one in yourself, just click auto gen and it'll create a password for you then you can just check the box to say that he's active and you can either save those settings or you can save and send him an email with his user ID and password now the email message that he will be receiving is right here and you can change this message from the default. Simply click on this link and the email that he will receive says Troopmaster web account settings, gives him the site address and his user ID and password. Now user ID in all caps and password in all caps surrounded by the brackets will be replaced with the user ID and password from the screen. So you, you can come in here and edit this message. and then just click OK. And then you can customize the message that each user will get when you choose to send them their settings. Now instead of having to create each user's password individually, you can also have the software do it for you. You can pick a group, say for instance you wanted to send all of your scouts their user ID and password. So none of my scouts are active at the moment. To make them all active, create them a generic password. All I have to do is click auto gen passwords. It's going to go through each one of these scouts from the scouts group and create them a password, turn on their account, and email them their settings. Now it's only going to do this for the users that don't already have a password. So if a user already had a password and you've, you've come to the screen and turned their account off because you didn't want them to have access any longer or something like that, it's not going to send that person new settings. It's going to leave them deactivated because they already have a password in the system. So when you click this button, again, all it's going to do is go through each one of your members in that group, create a password for them, turn them on, and email them their settings. Let's go ahead and take a look at that screen.
and now you can see each one of the scouts in that group is active.